Hello and welcome! Links here, we are playing Eve My Heart and Wings and it is another day which apparently didn't go too well. Well, we are off to a start. Today's breakfast was another dismal failure. Oh. All of the brothers showed their faces in the nanny hall for breakfast, but the only one who finished her meal was Kanako! I like her. I like her, man. Hmm, there must have been something wrong with it. All I have to do is make meals and clean. What a piece of cake! It's what I thought when I accepted a job as a normal mother, but my confidence is gradually fading. <laughs> What do you want? Ma Satsugu, joining me on the way to school, well, went out of his way to come and sling verbal abuse. A few things happened in the dormitory. Dealing with girls can be tough. <laughs> I'm mean, good for you. Yeah, yeah. Isn't she a freshman at Saisen Girls School? Saison girls? Saison? Saison? Yo. I think I only know that's thanks to the fact that I played the... You know. A sky full of stars first. But... Saison. We've had to deal with someone from that school on the other game which means we are now in the same city I love it Saison Girls High School it's a school for rich girls and it's um, she wasn't rich but she had the academics results yeah and it's famous even in this neighborhood the uniform has a reputation for being cute so fans come from far and wide just to take a look Fun, not a fun fact, maybe. I was not a fan of the girl that was from Saison. Yeah. Not my type. Anyway. Eri. I'm trying to remember if there was an Eri in that one. I don't know. Show me if you want. He looks like he's about to show me, so I go along with it. Seriously, she's cute! You're in a band? What? Mabu, you can play guitar. Let's go, man. High five. He goes as he shows off some great air guitar. Anyway, who the hell is Ingwie? We Ingwie. Whatever. Hmm. Yeah, what's what about it? Yeah, I don't do it anymore. Masatsugu's face seemed to say, It's got nothing to do with people. Mm. Did you hear that from Anchan? アンゲハも蛍も今度のレースは応援にくっついてくって、あんちゃんに言ってたんだぜ。まあ、一応俺もだけど。ふん。That if you think about it, it is kind of miserable, unfortunately. But also, you don't have any... You don't have any... Influence into that. Sure, tsundere. Yeah, yeah, get it. Don't get so flustered. No. No, I didn't. I never thought that I would make it to the podium. Even if I knew it was 
too far away for me to say, come and watch me. Same goes for all of us. Besides, I sent you a new year card every year, didn't I? <laughs> yes, those! <laughs> You're the same thing. Anyway, your new year cards usually arrive at the end of January. <laughs> Hi, Ageha. Hi, Masatsugo was sneakily hiding in my shadow. <laughs> Is she like a yandere or something? <laughs> that would be hilarious in a way. <laughs> Jokingly, Ageha deliberately keeps her distance from Masatsugu as she walks. Masatsuki comes up beside me and gives me a little poke in the ribs. <laughs> what thing? Ageha, is it true that? <laughs> ah, got it, got it. I would totally do this right now. Is it the sort of thing that needs to be kept a secret? Pepe! <laughs> Igris! You don't have to actually spit, man! Yeah, don't say weird things like that, please, please! This game brings a smile to my face! Not the like you can see that for. <laughs> Honestly, it makes things so much easier. I know I used to, you know, or more like started recording the videos with the webcam and so on, but in a way it makes things so much easier. I don't have to pay attention to my expressions. I don't have to cut out some of them. <laughs> and so on and so on. Lunch time. Today I didn't eat my lunchbox early. As I basked in this tiny sense of achievement and got my lunchbox out, Scotty had already disappeared from the classroom. Time to chase her. Is she waiting, perhaps? As she looked out into the hallway, she was moving back and forth as she was saying, Should I go forward? No, maybe I should go back. <clears throat> Are you waiting for me? Like now the cry, not really passing a pretty little girl, Kotri found herself with her left hand as if to calm herself down. <laughs> Sorry, I mean I only wanted to speak to you, that's all. Uh, you're going, aren't you? To the garage. <laughs> Sounds like you do. Okay, shall we go? And push her each other on the way. <laughs> Here, hold this, would ya? I passed my back to her. She's great, she's great. I mean, to be fair, so far, we've met three, four... I would say four girls with potential to be the love interests, basically, and all four of them are great. I mean Kotori over here, I mean our senpai, who is not here apparently, Ageha, and also our another um, student living in the dorm, who is also a senpai technically. Anyway, but she eats our food, so that's great. Anyway, the garage was open, but there was no one there. For some reason, it felt like Amane was always here, so it was a little surprising. Hmm, I don't think that's the case. That's how it feels. Oh. The air conditioning's not turned on, so it's quite humid. What should we do? <laughs> Do 
Kotri sub what if she lost any power somewhere? That's a problem. Kotri sub constantly put her hand on her stomach. Shall we have our lunch in here? I mean, uh, I made one for you too, Kotori. Well, I mean leftovers from breakfast, but you know. Kotori didn't come to have any breakfast this morning, so she shouldn't have any way of knowing what foods was served. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just meddling. One, two, three! I put the three lunch boxes on the workbench. I did the trouble of making one for Amade too for... <laughs> The air conditioner isn't turned on in the garage, so if I just leave it here, it will go bad. That's, there is a refrigerator, so I decided to put it in there. If I leave a note on the desk, she will realize and then eat it, won't she? Well, I should hope so. I hope, I hope so, yeah. Uh, could you turn on the electric fan? Could it turn on the nearby electric fan? Boop! There was a sound for it. Mm, I can't find the remote controller. It's probably buried somewhere. You open up the lunch boxes in the place to get the full force of the wind from the electric fan. This morning breakfast was curry. You don't like it. Wood curry. This is not curry. It's not good enough for breakfast. No, that that's dinner. No, they don't. Probably. You can complain after you've eaten it. Kotri has a milk look, uh, meek look on her face as she moves the cold curry towards her mouth. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It'd be good if we had a microwave for... For a little while, the two of us quietly eat our curry. One, wait, ma micro! How dare you! No, microwaves are no good. Gee. No. I do not agree. Microwaves are not good. Sorry. The only good use for a microwave is to make popcorn. Other food? No. No. Bad oi. Where is our senpai for? Today, there is no sheet covering the glider. I guessed the simple, sleek shape of its body and thought it was beautiful. I wonder if he will, like, notice in a way some kind of similarity to a bike. I imagined the aircraft cutting through the air as it flew. Huh. Well, when riding a bicycle, your greatest enemy is the wind. True. True, probably true. I mean, racing-wise, I imagine. Everyday life, you are your biggest enemy, to be honest. Let's face it. Uh, I would say cyclists get into accidents mostly because of their own fault. And that's a fact. I've never had an accident as a, you know, as I rode a bicycle. Um... But then again, I actually have, uh, I, ha I still have it, I believe. I have a license for a cycle, cycling. <laughs> I think in fourth grade, we were doing the advice cycling. Anyway. Huh? Hmm? But his face seemed to say, what is this guy talking about all of a sudden? But I carry on regardless. <laughs> The worst thing is when you have a headwind. While it is constantly pushing you back, you have to keep pedaling. I face the wind coming through the electric fan, set too strong, and I remember the feeling a little. The feeling of the wind gradually draining my stamina. That's why when we ride a bicycle, we try to find ways to reduce air resistance. Yes. So basically you drive be ride behind someone, that's the best kind of solution, right? Not just the shape of the bike or the helmet. During the race, we cooperate with the members of other teams and form a group while riding. Not always, but I thought that when riding a bike, it would be better if the wind wouldn't blow. I mean, yeah. But this thing rides the wind to fly. Mm. 
if we hadn't actually seen it flying that day, even with the real thing right in front of us, we wouldn't be able to imagine it flying. Speaking of which, Kotri, how do you know about the gliders? She didn't really know that much about them. That was the first time she had seen a real one. Somehow it seems like it's hard for her to answer, so I decided not to go any further. Ah, I wonder if... No, 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 erase that thought, erase that thought. It's not that, certainly. Anyway, speaking of books, there is a bookshelf here, lined with many books. Good. That's what the bookshelves are for. <laughs> Looking closely, they're all related to gliders or aircraft. Mm, makes sense. I pick one up and take a look inside. It's all in English. I can't read it. Yes, you can. It's not like my greatest English are bad, but with the level of English I have from studying at school, reading academic papers is really tough. Yeah, should have played games in English from the very beginning. Heh. Except for maybe VAs. If you have the Japanese VA option, go with that. English is low quality compared. Anyway, seems like Kotori is the same. Oh, that's surprising. There was a book that had many photos of gliders, like a catalog. Oh my, there are so many different types. The shape of the wings, the size and so on. Even with gliders, there are so many different varieties. Hmm? What's happening in this picture? Mountain. Well, I'm trying to find the mountain on this picture, but... I have a problem with that. <laughs> uh, also, I wish I remembered the map from a sky full of stars as well. It might be similar, to be honest. Oh, 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 I found the background. There was a view of the city. I remember there being a view of the city, so I would like to have that now. Damn it. There is only room... Wait, is this the view of the city? Hmm, not entire city, like part of the town, yeah. But we don't have the view of the like entire area, I think. Okay, there is some sort of river cutting through. I think it might be here. No, it's not here. Because over there, the city was basically by the sea. Kind of. Ah, whatever. Next. It's flying over the mountain, she said. It looked so natural that I didn't really notice, but the glider was flying high enough that it could look down on the mountain. They can fly that high? What? Kotri and I, without realizing, both look at the glider sitting over there. Well, apparently we can. With its wings removed, we couldn't really grasp the full size of it, but at a glance it didn't seem all that different to the glider in the photo. Amanda had said that it could go above the clouds. I wonder what it feels like to fly through the sky. <laughs> After we finished our lunchboxes, we stayed for a little longer. We spent the time looking at books and admiring the glider. When the bell rang, it felt like the time to enjoy ourselves was over, and I felt a little sad. <laughs> hmm? Just as we're about to go back to the classroom, Kotori noticed a photo frame on Amane's desk. I wonder what this is. The weird thing was that there was a photo frame, but no photo inside. An empty photo frame had been placed there. Hmm, in her case she probably managed to lose just the photo inside. No. It's because she's the sole member, isn't she? I think it's that, that's why. What's up? Hmm, 
I think she had the ha same thought I had. I do believe that. The moment we stepped out of a sunlight garage, the air outside felt cold. I think that's what, that was her thinking as well. Some splashing around. Ah, <sighs> I'm worn out. It's easy to say clean the bathroom, but I never thought it would be such a big job. Plus, there is no air conditioning in there, so I'm sweltering. The trouble is, if I don't do this every day during the summertime, then mold will start growing. It's not just about hygiene. Are Japanese bathrooms built like that? It's kind of gross too. There is a way you can take a bath when there is mold growing in there. I mean, yeah, that would be disgusting. My cell phone rang. On this plate showed home. Wait. Home? You mean you have a like phone inside of the house? Dude, that's crazy. I don't have that. Hello? What's up? I have no idea what to cook for them. <laughs> I can't say it's going smoothly, I didn't think much of it when I accepted, but it turned out to be pretty tough. I wish that was. Going to school every day and doing the work of a door mother is wearing me out. I realized this after only a few days. This is a lot of hard work. Hmm? Why? Hmm. Well, I mean, if that's what you think, don't talk about it. A mother like you? And the answer is yes, probably. She's the kind of mother who loves teasing her son. Cool. But, did she get me to do this dorm mother rube job because she was worried about me? I'm so busy I don't have time to dwell on things. Speaking the hallway, the other boarders may have been able to hear me, so I went back to my room. We continue our silly parent child conversation. My mother is fiercely independent person and a hard working career woman. Damn. Many things have been happening until recently. Well, they're still going on now, and we were living separately. I'm a bit too old to be missing my mother for. yeah. I mean, university already, come on. It's enough for me to just speak to her from time to time. Yep, I agree. <laughs> Going fine, Hageha is there too. Oh boy. Me too, she's like a proper girl now. What do you mean? Hageha-chan, you will be beautiful and I... I can't tell what you're doing there. <laughs> oh gee, cut it out. What are you talking about? Who? Yeah, you? <laughs> Would the mother usually tell her son to go chasing after girls? <laughs> no. But... They would be like... Hey, when are you getting married? When will you give us the grandchildren? Ugh, never. <laughs> well, we have trouble. We don't know what to cook. Sure. I can't. Oh, I'll think about it. <clears throat> Why, Chan? She called me vet on purpose because she knows I don't like it and then ended the call. My father is the one who chose to call me Aoi, but it's kind of a girl's name, so... No, I don't think it is, but whatever. So I was often teased about it and it seems she still remembers. I put down my phone and take a look at the boarding students roster. As for the boarders' jobs, cleaning their own room is a given. Then there is cleaning the hallways and entrance, as well as the dining hall. On the other hand, my jobs are to prepare breakfast and dinner, clean up afterwards, clean the bathroom and the garden, and other miscellaneous chores. It's actually pretty tough, maybe I should ask for some help. Even if I can just get them to clean the bathroom, that would be a real lifesaver. 
Ha? Tük 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 tük. Yuka? <laughs> Yuka, who is in the dining hall, the tall four of greater and the one who'd been here the longest, seems surprised as I call out her. <laughs> they act so scared around him. Crazy. Can I ask you a question? I lay out. I lay, I lay out the roaster that I was just looking at on the table where Yuka is sitting. Yuka should be used to seeing this. Look at it. Looks at it with curiosity. Katrin doesn't have her on the job roaster. Um. Well. Wait, but, well, come on, man. Really? Starting with Kanako, then you come. There are four names, but Kori's name is not there. <laughs> Yuka looks towards the dining hall door as she speaks. <laughs> hmm. On the other hand, what if she can help with something? I see, so that's why. Thank you. Ding, 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 ding. Thanks for the flashbang. Extend the little wings which fly in the sky highly. Is it going to be a lengthy episode? Oh, thanks for another flashbang. This is going to be a lengthy episode. Chop, 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 chop. The scorching sun comes shining in. Up on the roof. With nothing to block the sunlight, it feels even more like I'm being burned. Oh. Could it be that you are repairing the rooftop? Today is hot as hell! I grumble as I wipe the sweat from my brow. It's already 7 o'clock. It's just before the peak of summer and the sun is finally shining at full strength. Today is Saturday, so there is no school! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Wait. Don't you go to school in Satur on Saturdays in Japan? I think you do! I like this one. Now is my chance to get some of the dorm mother work done. This morning I've climbed up on the roof and I'm fixing leaks. Nice. Oh, this building is in a pretty bad condition. I heard that the owner who collapsed a few days ago and who was also the caretaker here is an elderly woman. Because it was a girl's dormitory with no guys around, there were quite a few places that had been left damaged. This place is so old that I can't help wondering if originally it was aiming to be registered as a cultural heritage site. The owner who is a widow opened the manor house as a student dormitory before I was born. Which means that we, when we are calling this place the witch's mansion, students from Cave Academy were already living here. Since then the owner had been taking care of the boarding students like they were her own children or grandchildren. However, since the, the redevelopment plans were brought forward, land prices in Kazegaura have been rising. Oh yeah, don't even tell me about that. The owner's sons were hoping to let go of this place, and that's one of the reasons why I was brought to take on the dorm mother's job in such a hurry. It might be hard to avoid getting involved in those kinds of adult matters, so I'll just quietly get on with the work that I have to do. Alright, let's do it. Finishing the repairs to the roof, I climb down the ladder. Okay, next is... Hato, who was picking the soil, had come closer to where I was going to put my feet as I climbed down. This kind of besides the point, but ducks eat weeds and bugs, so it seems that if I just leave him to it, he will maintain the garden. Heh. <laughs> nice. However, he will also peck at the flowers and so on too, so the person doing the gardening needs to watch out for that. What's up, Hato? Where is your body? I have no idea what he's saying, but he definitely looks bored. Sorry, but I've got work too. When I get back, I'll give you a buff. Hmm. The door to Kotori's room was closed. I couldn't hear any sound and there were no signs that she was awake. Still asleep, huh? Sleepyhead! Hey, Kotori! Wake up, Alul! Hey, Miss Alul! <laughs> I'm going to do some shopping. Do you want to come with me? It's a kawaii plush toy! 
Let's go! That's an AC. I'm not sure if it's AC or just, you know. Okay, a desk. I think there is a wardrobe right behind her. Oh no, the clock without indicators. Damn it! <laughs> and her face seemed to say, if this was America and they sued you, you would lose. Well, thank God this is not America overall. You're oversleeping. It's a nice sunny day. Let's go outside. Come on, come on. It's shopping for the dormitory. You eat too, don't you? Come on, come on, come on. Hmm. Nice. Sink Ageha give a great big wave. Kotri makes a noise face. Hi Ageha! Ooh. Looking good. She's looking good. It's fine, there's something you need help with. I'd plan from the beginning to meet up with Ageha. That's right. <laughs> That's because I want her as a special advisor for today's work. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go! Iko, Iko! Iko, Iko! We arrived at the underground street of the shopping mall. Looks pretty fancy, to be fair. Library, a uh, bookstore, I mean. Library in the mall, like you would see that. Come on. Bookstore, obviously. Um, who knows what else there might be. There are many stylish shops in the shopping arcade. Oof. And there is also a large supermarket. I push Kotri long in her wheelchair and go around buying the food with Ageha. What do we need? What about yellow peppers? Yellow peppers are good too. Oi! Honestly, I don't get why people don't like peppers. It's crazy to me. Peppers are delicious. Hmm? But it looks like she still doesn't agree with the fact that Ageha is with us. She looks at me like she's trying to put a curse on me. Ah. Okay, so I got Ageha to think of me for a menu. Uh, for me. Uh, for tonight's dinner. Seems that the things I make aren't the kind of things that girls like. Okay. Hmm. Because you can carry the bugs. Kotri is doing a good job of carrying the green supermarket basket. <laughs> I guess I keep slinging more and more ingredients into the basket. Paprika powder, whole tomato, yes. nama ham, sore kara. Uh-oh. I'll get some mineral water. Uh, that's a lot. No. No. Uh, but curry man chips. I remember this. Pakuriman. Paprika. Pakuriman. <laughs> she. Death potato. Ooh, okay. I'll give it a pass. Yes. Uh, I will sometimes buy the. Supposedly spicy chips here. Yeah. She slings them in. Also, we'll soon be out of the rice. Let's buy some while we're here. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor Kotori. With all of the ingredients for all of the borders before we knew it, the basket that Kotori was carrying was full. <laughs> As she complained, Kotori was very careful not to let the contents of the basket fall out. Don't drop anything. Ice. <laughs> Today's shopping is being paid for with the operating cost of the dormitory, so we can't really buy things we don't need. 
Having said that, she's helping me out, so... Hmm... You can get buddy buddy kun. <laughs> Have it your way. I said treat her to strawberry hargen darch with my own money. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is the fancy brand supposedly over there. Yeah. Is this one okay? Mm and we finish at the cash register. The food costs about 50% more than usual, but... What? Why? But tonight is a special occasion. Ah, uh, gee. Oh, oh, I forgot to buy, buy ground meat. Are we making a grill barbecue? It's for tomorrow. It's a pain to have to keep going to buy food all the time, you know. I leave them behind and go back to the store. Mm, I search for the meat in the ground meat section. Da -da 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 -da. If I can, I will get one with the discount sticker as I put there and then it this time. Yeah, wrong hour. It's in the evenings, right? Kind of. That you can get discounted stuff. The cost for the borders, food is paid on a monthly basis. The computer is run and it's kind of a hobby by the owner, so it's just a rough estimate, but there is an upper limit established as part of the rent agreement. I mean, the rest could be, I guess. Purchased by the students? Why not? The dormitory's meals follow the creed of uh, as cheap as possible, as tasty as possible. So basically, buy cheap and be able to pull off the maximum tastiness. I get it. That's a good approach. I look at the packs of beef that are lined up on the shelf. Hmm. Um, almost 3,000 yen for 100 grams. This is a supermarket the celebrity woman come to, so some of these prices for the ingredients are pretty steep. It's okay, once in a while, so I'd like everyone to eat this kind of meat. I murmur to myself. Hmm. The guy reaches across from sight and slings the luxury marbled. 2,980 yen for 100 grams meat into the basket. The girl who took the pack showed signs of hesitation but continued to slink more and more of the luxury marble meat into the basket. In the end, she took everything that was on the shelf. Uh, Are you going to use luxury marble beef in a curry? What? Not only that, it's thinly sliced. I was supposed to have said that on the inside, but because of the shock, I came right out and said it aloud. I mean, if you're making curry, if I have meat for curry over there, yeah, see? Well, when you stew me this size, it becomes more tender and much smaller. If you use that kind of meat, the fat will melt away and you won't have a trace of it left. In her basket was about a kilogram of mild meat to be used in sukiyaki. Are you going to see all of this in a curry? Really? What a waste of good meat! She has no clue about cooking, does she? As I start the basket, she looks at me in disbelief. <laughs> she seemed impressed as she said it and moved over to the fresh fish section. Did I scare her off? She said as I watch from distance her throwing sea bream with the head and tail still on the basket while they reach for a pack of the cheap pork and beef ground meat. Ah, oh, here they are, does it? Ice cream? Oishi! Habane san, strawberry hananda! Watashi wo cookie and cream ka na? I like anything that is not coffee. <laughs> Honestly. Any ice cream, just not coffee and we can rock and roll. We all know that you wanted some. Hmm. 
I knew it. Yeah, yo, spoon, one piece, can't be enough. いいじゃん。女同士なんだから。いやったらいやよ。ケチンボ。うん。うん。うん。分かったわよ。一口だけよ。うん、コングラッツ。はい。浜根さん、ありがとう。はい。私の方言どっちが。What are you doing? Yeah. Hello. I finished pink and had come back and Kotori was letting her eat her ice cream. I feel like I'd seen something I wasn't supposed to see. Yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like, basically, so... I see. Well, it's nice you're getting along. <laughs> ストロベリーもいいな。ねえ、もう一口。ね、ちょっと。私の分がなくなるの。ブラッシングがしスポークトリーコンティニューとウォールダウンでハーゲンダッチ。え、オッケー、レッツゴー。え、ヒアテイク
I'll add salt and pepper. And so the preparations for dinner continued smoothly. Very smoothly. Hopefully. Hopefully. But Kanako, you always enjoy the food, so... <laughs> the others, where are the others? One after another, the boarders came to the dining hall and seeing the food on the table and how different it was to usual, they were surprised at first. There is a general idea of meal times for the boarders. I usually make meals at the same time, and the time that everyone comes to the dining hall is not really set. It's okay if you come late, and it's okay if you don't eat. That's why we often eat at different times. This is the first time since I came here that we've all gathered at the same time like this! Hell yeah! Today was the only time that I had told them in advance. <clears throat> okay, everyone, please take a seat. Uh, you too, Ageha, why not? <laughs> Do you want to tell me the previous ones they didn't look amazing? <laughs> With Kanako, we are getting to her heart through the stomach, basically. Let's go. <clears throat> go ahead, enjoy your meal. The boarders looking at each other cautiously move the food towards their mouths. Hmm, well, of course. I can hear the word delicious coming from the boarders. Huh? What is? Oh, oh, it's true, it's really tasty. Basque style, chicken stew. I was the one that had made it, but I didn't know how it would taste, and I imagined that it wouldn't be very good. It was different to the Western or Chinese food that I usually make. In fact, I normally don't use spices that make it e What? In that, I normally don't use spices that make it easy to understand the flavor. The meat stewed in the tomato soup was tender and was surprisingly refreshing. Most importantly, the flavor of the meat had really been drawn out, so I had no complaints at all about the taste. It's the kind of thing that you eat on a hot summer's day when you don't have much of an appetite. Oh. <laughs> the salt served in a big bowl was divided between everyone. There were cucumbers. Delicious. Tomatoes. Delicious. Lettuce. Acceptable. And also avocado. Oh. Mozzarella cheese. Even though it was just an elaborate salad again, the reaction was... Yes! Ryokobu is in the second grade like me, and also Sanoe, the third year with the trademark glasses. Both seem to really like it. Ageha-chan produce da yo! Everyone made a face that kind of showed they knew that. Uh, well. The truth is that this meal was made under the advice of Miss Himegi here, so. By the way, it seems that Ageha and Ryoko were friends from before. The thing is, it seems the food that I made didn't really go down to well with everyone, so. Apart from Kaneko, all of the boarders looked away for a moment awkwardly. They'll say something! <laughs> you should have said! That's why if there is something you want to say, please talk to me about it, okay? It's a little scary, but I thought I'd try to talk to them about it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Huh. It sure is. And now that I think about it, I feel like I myself don't pay attention to the colors of food. <laughs> There is red, green, yellow, and white, and many other colors, and looks vivid and colorful. The food I usually make is... Ginger pork. Brown. Fried rice. Brown. Curry. Yellow. Yakisoba. Brown. Neapolitan pasta. Red. And so on, but it's all basically comprised of a single color. Aoi 
食いな料理も豪快で嫌いじゃないけどねカラコ先輩スタッフリンクマイハーツリンクスでもほら最近暑くて食欲もそんなにないし Stop trying to make me feel better about that, okay? I want the truth. Don't try to play it around with me. I don't think I've ever felt like that, even if it was hot summer, to be honest. But and again, you know, different people, different way the organism works. Everyone's really kind, aren't they? They really care about my feelings. <laughs> Just because of that, I was unnecessarily worried. For a guy like me, who went to a sports-focused boys' school and lived together with his dad in a kind of bachelor path, that was always enough. Which makes you think... That sports-focused school might not have been too great if they didn't... have some kind of cooking classes as well. I mean, they should to t teach you about the proper nutrition and so on, and what you could cook and so on. I feel like you should have knowledge what to cook in summer, basically, because of that as well. Anyway. I never even thought about the color of food. Yeah, I, to be honest, I've never thought about this as well. But well, whatever. Somehow it seems that in a girl's dormitory, that kind of thing is important. Mm. <clears throat> Everyone seems satisfied. If it's like this, the most they've opened up to me so far. <sighs> if I'm going to say it, now is my chance! Hey, can I just say something? I snap and get everyone's attention. Uh, please listen as you eat, yeah. This is about the border shores. Would it be alright to increase them a little? I'm a student too, so it's pretty tough for me. For example, if I could just get you guys to clean the bathroom, that would really be a big help. Just that. Everyone looked at each other as if they were trying to figure out what the others were thinking. To be honest, no one's going to be happy about increasing their chores, but, you know, but... <laughs> yes! As you can, the oldest responded, the others nodded in agreement. What's that supposed to mean? Actually, I Hell yeah, I did. I mean, I, I will try harder than ever to make good food for you. Oh, every day. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> huh? Uh, that and maybe one other thing. This is what I really wanted to say. I think that we should get Kodri to do some things too. <laughs> Kodri was sitting at the end of the table, the furthest away from everyone, who looked uncomfortable while she ate, was surprised to hear her name called. Everyone looked around at Kodri. Oi! She has a walking disability, but she can use her hands. There are things that she can do. That's right, she will be my helper in the kitchen. This had a big impact on everyone, who until just now had been eating the food and saying how delicious it was. They looked at her like they were embraced, but Kodri seemed kind of embarrassed. <clears throat> Thanks to Kotori helping us, we're able to get the dinner preparations done easily. If that's the case, then maybe we can add another chore. I don't dislike cooking, but to prepare for the other people is physically quite demanding. If that's okay, Kotori, with Kotori, could you help me prepare the meals? Thank you! I say while Kotori looks away and quietly nods without saying anything. Um, it's a little different to the other chores, but in order to avoid being unfair from no one, I want Kotori to help out where she can. Everyone still had their reservations about the whole thing, so for now, they just quietly looked at each other. Even so, until now, Kotori and the other boarders could quite a distant relationship. However, I'm the one who understands the situation the least, or rather, the one who understands it the most! Kanako raised her hand, then the others followed. 
それができるんならすごくいいと思うわ<笑>私もそう思いますゆかさん<笑>私前からちょっと変だなって思ってましたそう、so, from tomorrow on let's do our best こちらこそよろしくりょうさんどうもでるかたりちゃんもよろしくねでもフェイスコミューマーでる Mm. It's fine. I'll let you know his father. I can be a mother. <laughs> Kodoro is moody until the end, but she kept herself from shouting abuse at me, which I know she is good at, and seemed to understand what I was trying to do. <laughs> Thanks for today, Ham. You really helped me out. That's <laughs> I kind of like the thing on her hand as well. Super cute. Singles for you too. Oh, Hatto! Hatto came waddling from down the corridor. Oh, Ahiru san! Doshita no? Miyokuri ni kite kureta no? Waga! Hatto flapped his wings towards Ageha. Maybe he's saying thanks for helping Kotori. To serve his feelings as her housemate. Ja, here ni modotta rat taite. Kyo wa tanoshkatta nette. I bet she's around the corner. Kwa. <laughs> the way he replied made it seem like he completely understood what Ageha had said and had to wiggle his tail as he waddled off. Hmm, <laughs> kawaii. I agree. Okay, uh, take it on your way back. Mm. Safe travels. Hotto, where did you go? Hi, oh, it's a little bit. Wow. Hey, listen, Hotto. Today, I was helping you make a meal. Hmm. 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 なんとか2個見て言うんだけどみんな美味しいって言ってたサンフィコロで私も食べたけど本当に美味しかったのすごいでしょもうすぐ今日が終わっちゃう楽しかったな Extended the wings which fly in the sky highly. Ah. I think it's time. Yeah, I think this is a dream. So let's cut it right here. And we shall look on that dream tomorrow. And tomorrow, another day in If My Heart Had Wings, we'll see where this is all going. That was an, a heartwarming episode, to be quite honest. And hopefully we'll get more of moments like this. This game is wonderful. It is so wonderful, honestly. But yes, this episode has come to an end. Hope you enjoyed. Consider liking the video and subscribe if you're new around. Always appreciated. Most importantly, for have a wonderful day. I'm out. Bye bye.